Hi, today we're going to be drawing dogs sitting down. All right, so today we're going to learn about how to draw a dog sitting. I've done two other videos, one uh, focusing specifically on dog faces, uh, and then another one on how to draw a dog sideways, and now we're going to look at how to draw a dog sitting because dogs are such our friends, we want to spend so much time drawing them because they are so cute. Uh, so with the dog face video, I we talked about how to dog faces are with a circle and then some sort of square, right? And so you can make the square long or you can make it kind of wide, uh, depending on the kind of dog that you want to draw. Uh, to this morning, I'm going to draw a dog kind of like a, a golden retriever or maybe a lab. So this is going to have a dog with kind of a long nose, all right? So we kind of have a square down the uh, down the circle. We're going to have a little cute little nose, and then, and then the eyes are going to be up farther here, or up higher on the head. And we're going to do it like this. We've got to throw some ears in here. Good floppy ear dog. So cute. There we go. All right. Do, do, do. You know, throw some hair in there. Cool. Let's erase this. Erase our guidelines. And we've got our friends a dog. Okay, good. Pretty good dog. Now, the, the dog is sitting, right? You know, and so he is facing us sitting down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw kind of a triangle. All right. And then what I'm going to do is going to go down maybe about halfway from the triangle here and then just Draw some more. And these guys, so these, these are going to be its front legs, and they're going to come out in front of the triangle. Okay, and so throw some dog footies. Just like that. Though we won't call them footies anymore, maybe footsies, feetsies. I don't know. It's tough to know what to call them because it's kind of like dog feet or paws. Sounds so formal. And they're like little cute little, little, little footies. I don't know. There we go. So now the dog's chest is kind of coming out here. So we can throw some hair coming out like that. Okay, cool. So we've got the front part. Now his rumpus is going to be coming down over here. But we want his legs not. His legs will be kind of doing a little butterfly move. All right, so kind of from this halfway point, we'll throw in a little bit of these little butterfly wings, all right, and then throw in some more little footsies. Maybe footsies is what I landed on. That's what I said, I think. All right, cool. All right, and then that's kind of our, our friends the dog. So let's erase our guidelines, see what we've got. See if there's areas that we need to shape up or improve. Now remember, whenever I'm drawing, I really do use these guidelines. Uh, and then I go back in and kind of just tweak it and make it look the way I want. All right, okay, so we're going to go here. His legs up in there. Throw some good shaggy hair. Yeah. Okay. And then his tail can come out here. The tail can be up here. Yeah, it's kind of a cute little tail. We'll go up there and then throw some hair down. So this dog is just kind of sitting there and being a very good boy and listening to what you have to say, which was very unlike my dog. My dog 
although also a very good boy, does not listen to what I have to say, and more or less does whatever he wants. But that's okay. We love him. So, this dog came together pretty quickly, right? And so, the same idea uh, is whenever we're doing dog sitting with that triangle shape, whenever they're on the other side. So, we will um, draw sitting dog from the side. Okay. Sitting dog, same idea. Remember how we did the faces uh, from a dog, like sitting, I'm sorry, uh, faces from profile or from the side. We just put a bit of a box, just kissing that circle, All right? And then we kind of, then we just connect them. Uh, and that's how we make that dog shape. And if you want to make the dog look up or down, you just move the muzzle up. So, you know, you have the dog like this, you know, so we just rotate it down and so the dog is looking up or the dog is looking down. You just rotate the box around the circle. So we're just going to have this dog looking kind of normal, similar dog, kind of like that. Then we will give the dog a good nose, a little bit, there we go, and then kind of connect it. And then we kind of draw over here, a little bit past the circle for some of the floppy ears. My dog doesn't even know that he's been such an inspiration to my dog drawing. Okay. And then previously, whenever we did the other, whenever we did the dog drawings, we had like the two circles. Here we don't have that. We're just going to do another one of these kind of triangle shapes, All right? And so the triangle is going to come out here, and you kind of just, depending on how tall the dog is or whatever you want, you know. And then we will draw a little bit of a. circle in here, kind of a kind of a this shape, right? And this is the dog's hind quarters. Alright, and his foot feet. Gotta round that out. Same idea here. We can bring in this as his chest. And then throw in the footsies. Okay. And depending on the kind of dog you have or whatever, you can kind of just move these and shape it. You know, it's kind of like sculpture. You just kind of move and see where you like it. Uh, and then throw some. Oh my goodness, that tail is out of control. Okay. So there we go, and then we throw in hair, wherever we want it. Little pieces of hair, uh, remem remember, don't just like do hair everywhere, you just like little bitty, little tufts of hair will give a good indicator or a good uh, kind of suggestion of hair everywhere. So you don't want it to go everywhere. And then you go and erase your lines and then you see where you know what do you what else do we want to do here you know maybe we want actually maybe we want his neck to be a little bit like that so we can throw a collar on it so we shape it down a little throw a collar you know and then now you know, like a spiky collar you know because this is a cool spiky collared dog you know what what do you now what, that we have the the general shape of the dog? What do we want to do? You know, do you want to make him, you know, driving? You know, a you know a, a a dog moped. You know, and it's like of course I do. So we draw ourselves a dog moped. You know, it's like, kind of like a scooter, but made specifically for dogs. But again, they're doing this, so you, we just uh, we would erase his foot here and make it up here on this thing. So this way, 
because of this shape, because of the way that we've learned how to draw shapes, you can change these things and move them around uh, as you see fit, which makes your drawing so much more fun because you can truly imagine and just kind of like, you know, you can make whatever you want. But the best way to do that is to start with uh, your basic shapes and then you can move it around. So this dog's all like, you know, and he's got like a helmet because, you know, safety first. And, uh, you know, his helmet is on here, but his helmet also has like cool, like ray gun because maybe, you know, the, you know, the, this is like a super spy dog who is not very spy -y because if you're riding around as a dog with a, on a scooter with a giant ray gun on your hat, you know, people are like, hey, I'm going to take notice of that. But, you know, he's kind of the opposite of a spy. But, you know, you can imagine and do uh, whatever you want with that. So uh, check those two out. I hope that you have a fantastic time drawing dogs sitting. Um, I will do one last one in hyper mode. And uh, if you learn something from this, please give me a thumbs up. I hope that you subscribe because then I will be able to make more and we'll see you next time. Bye.